This video will take a quick look at Blackboard Collaborate's interface. So let's start by accessing a Blackboard Collaborate session. I have created a Blackboard Collaborate link on my course menu, which I've covered in a different video. Um, uh, or you can navigate to uh, course tools and select Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, um, and that'll bring you to this main page. I'm going to use the course room for uh, this interface overview. So Collaborate should open in your browser. If it's the first time you've used it, it'll ask you if you're um, okay with it using your microphone. Um, it'll give you a quick audio test or to let you switch the microphone. So I have others plugged in here. It'll ask you if you'd like to use the camera. I will say allow. Um, again, <laughs> there are a couple different options because I have different cameras set up. Um, so we'll say that it's working. Just because you've configured those things doesn't mean that they're on. So it will give you the opportunity to start a tutorial or you can watch one later. Um, it's going to show up over here and I'll, resh I'll show that to you again in just a second. So this is the main uh, Blackboard Collaborate area and there are three different sections that I want to talk to you about. The first is in the top left corner. And that's what um, they call Blackboard calls the session menu. And so uh, the first thing is the start recording. Um, this is where you will both start and stop the recording of your sessions. The important thing to know about this is if you open one Blackboard Collaborate session and intend to record multiple lectures, you just want to start and stop in between. That way it creates a different um, recording file. The next thing down is use your phone for audio. So if you are without a microphone or even if you're in an area with um, poor or no internet connection, if you can get this information before you get started, uh, you can join via phone. If you want to report an issue uh, to Blackboard, you can use this. Uh, tell me more about Collaborate will give you kind of a tour and then help and privacy policy if you need that information. It also gives you the opportunity to leave the session, but you can do that by closing the tab that Collaborate opened in. So. Uh, that's the session menu. Here at the uh, center of the bottom of Collaborate you see four buttons. The first is my status and setting. And it kind of lets you know, um, well, this tells you your signal status. Um, it's not displaying for some reason right now. Um, I can leave the session. I can mark that I'm away. And I can also give feedback. So if you ask students, hey, does this make you happy? Do I need to go faster or slower? Are you still confused? They can use these and, and you'll be able to see that. Or you can ask them if they agree and disagree. The next button over is the audio, share audio. Uh, once you click it, you'll see that it moves up and down um, when it hears. Uh, my microphone's already in use, so it's not showing it. And you click it again to turn off your audio. Same thing for video. Um, when I'm meeting with students, especially if I'm lecturing or trying to cover uh, some important information, I ask that they leave their camera and microphone off. Um, and that way, there's no chance of, well, we kind of eliminate a lot of the feedback and other audio issues. And then if students have a question, what I kind of encourage them to do, or if we're going to have students talk, is to, of course, there's a slight delay with some of the online stuff. So is to pause before they start talking. To, um, answer the, or you know say their question or answer a question and then turn off their microphone and wait for a response so we really only want to turn on the microphone when we need students to say something they can leave their video on so you can see that they're there but the microphone you want them to turn it off when it's not in use um, the next thing over is raise hand so if you are lecturing or working with a group you can say hey click that raise hand button and um, you'll get a notification at the top where it'd say, Drew's raised his hand. That way you can say, ah, oh, somebody's got a question, let me pause for a second. And then you can ask the student to turn on their microphone or use the chat box to give you the question and then you can address it. So we've looked at the first area was the sessions menu. This bottom section is where um, users control their audio and video or raise their hand. Um, so the final section is over here. And this is the, uh, what the, uh, Blackboard calls the collaborate panel and there are four sections. The first section is the chat. So if you want to chat with just moderators, so if you have a GA or uh, if you're co-teaching a class, um, everyone means the chat would be available to everybody. 
Uh, so if you're teaching or working and your microphone goes out, you could chat with the students. Or if they don't have a microphone, they can ask questions that way. Um, the next tab over is attendees. So as people join the session, their names will be listed here. It will uh, give you an indication of their connection status. And then next to their, uh, the connection status is a button where you can make somebody a, a captioner. I'm in here as a moderator, um, but if you had a student in your course, you could make them a captioner, you could make them a presenter, which means they could control some of the content and collaborate, or you could make them a moderator, which means they have full access to all of the tools. Typically, we want most students to stay in the course as a, or in collaborate as a participant, unless they're leading it, and then I like to give them access as a moderator. So we've looked at chat, we've looked at the attendees, um, the next thing over is share content. Uh, this is this is where the muscle for Collaborate is, other than just being able to meet with students online. So share whiteboard is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it gives us a space where we can, uh, you know, it's you're using the mouse, so it's not ideal, but you can work through different things, or you could say, um, here's a, a problem, let's uh, look at the results. Or, um, you know, there's a, a plenty of uses that you could probably think of outside of uh, me doing 2 plus 2 or writing a big D in cursive. So anyway, so you have a whiteboard. Uh, when you don't want to use this anymore, um, you can uh, click the stop button here. Uh, students can also participate in this, um, uh, can also contribute to the whiteboard um, by using the pencil or text. Text is really small and kind of clunky, so I try to encourage people to use the pencil. So that's the whiteboard. The next thing I want to look at is share application or screen. Um, I'm currently in Safari, so it's going to only allow me to share uh, my screen, not necessarily an application. Um, at this point, I just remind you that Blackboard Collaborate is built for Google Chrome, um, so it's the it has the most functionality. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's like to share your screen. So I'm clicking here, it's asked me to, it's asked for permission, so I'm gonna allow it. And don't be alarmed, but what you'll probably see is something that looks like you're in the movie Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. Not a big deal. I do wanna share a um, something online, so what I need to do is separate my Collaborate session from the window that I'm sharing. So all I have to do is click here on the tab and pull this apart. And what we see now is that um, in in collaborate it's um, looking at my whole screen here and but whatever I'm doing um, in uh, blackboard is showing up in the recording and in the live stream obviously it's it's gonna look and function much better in Google Chrome but it is possible through Safari and other browsers um, the next thing down you you'll see is uh, share files um, this is how you can upload images, PowerPoints, or PDFs. Let me just grab a, an example for us. Um, and let's see, perhaps we can grab a PDF. And you can upload files in advance. So if you have uh, PowerPoints for all of your lectures, you can drop them all here at once and they'll live in this session. So when I'm ready to show something, um, I'm on Share Files, I've, I select it, you'll notice that the black box shows up, and then I click Share Now. So this shows up to students, um, they can still annotate or draw on it, or we can talk about it. Um, when I'm ready to switch to my PDF, I come back over to the sharing side, I click it, uh, the item that I want to share, click Share Now. Uh, it's going to give me all the pages, so if you've got 20 pages, you can jump to a particular place. I want the first page. And so we can pull this up and talk through it. Um, if you have a particular question or if you're trying to gauge how well your students read, you could um, use the pencil tool and say, okay, somebody explain this paragraph to me. Um, different things like that. Um, you scroll through the pages using these arrows at the bottom. Um, so that's uh, sharing content. And let's back up again, or files. We can stop when we're done. If you'd like to poll students, you can do multiple choice um, or yes or no. Uh, are we ready?
to start the next chapter. When we click start, the question shows up and this is live polling, so whoever's in the session can click yes and uh, we'll see that kind of total up. Uh, there's also a timer, so if you want to say, okay, I'm going to give us a 15 minute break or I'm going to give you 10 minutes to step away from the computer and work on something and then come back, that's what that's for. Uh, breakout groups, it's exactly what it sounds like. So within one collaborate session, you can split your students up into different groups to do different projects. An example here would be, um, let's say you're in a language class, uh, a Spanish class, and you're going to assign each group a verb and ask them to conjugate it in the different forms. It, uh, for example, nosotros or yo or tu. Um, and whenever they come back, that group will teach their verb and the different con conjugations um, to the whole group. So those are the main tools here. Um, the next thing over and kind of the last section of Blackboard Collaborate is settings. Um, if you want to add a picture, you can add a picture here. You can adjust which camera and microphone is being used. If you're having audio problems, um, you can uh, click here and it'll give you the phone number and pin to call in. Notifications, so while you're leading the session, if you don't want notifications when somebody joins or leads or chats, you can turn those things off. Uh, session settings at the bottom, um, this is where you can enable and disable the different tools students have. So if you forgot to turn off their audio and video, you can select those here and it'll update that.